Welcome back to This Is A Commander channel, where this is a Commander channel, and today I'm going to talk about Commander, Tough Rules, and Cool Interactions, episode 79. Today's episode is going to take a look at discarding cards in Magic, as that is a very popular thing in the form of self-discard decks. There are a lot of popular commanders out there that want to be discarding cards. Creatures like Anjay Falconrath and Braylon Skyshark Rider. And then, more recently, we got a new mechanic called Connive, and two very powerful creatures focused on it with Kami's Obscura Oculus and Rafine Scheming Seer. So, where am I going with all of this? Well, there's a very popular card in Magic that actually released all the way back in Alpha, and it still sees play today in Commander, specifically in a lot of these decks that care about self-discarding. The card is Library of Lang, and it is a one generic mana artifact that says you have no maximum hand size, and then it also has a replacement effect that says if an effect causes you to discard a card, discard it, but you may put it on top of your library instead of your graveyard. So it's a neat little way to still discard cards, but not lose them to your graveyard in case you don't have a way to get them back from the graveyard. The thing is, I've seen a lot of these decks run this card, and the players piloting these decks don't know that if they do happen to use its replacement effect that to discard it to their library, that it can actually shut off their commander's effect or other discard payoffs that they are running in their decks. So let's get into some specific examples. I mentioned earlier the ability of connive. The Comprehensive Rules' section for Connive is in section 701.47, and it states that for something to connive, that permanence controller draws a card, then discards a card. If a non-land card is discarded this way, that player puts a plus one plus one counter on the conniving permanent. So this is an ability that we see on these two Esper Commanders, and then let's also look at two cards that see regular play in the 99 in a lot of these sorts of discard decks. Bone Miser and Shirley Bajasaur. There's a whole lot of text on these two cards, and what their effects are is not all too important, but what is important is that each one has these three triggered abilities. One that triggers when you discard a land card, one for discarding a creature card, and one for discarding a non-land, non-creature card. So what do all of these things on these commanders and on these two cards, what do they all have in common that make it so that Library of Lang can be a negative in the deck? The thing that all these effects have in common is that they all care about the type of card that is being discarded. Connive wants to see non-land cards. Miser and Badgersaur have different results for which of the three types that you discard. And if we take a look at the comprehensive rules, we'll find section 701.8c that says, if a card is discarded, but an effect causes it to be put into a hidden zone instead of into its owner's graveyard without being revealed, all values of that card's characteristics are considered to be undefined. If a card is discarded this way to pay a cost that specifies a characteristic about the discarded card, that cost payment is illegal. The game returns to the moment before the cost was paid. So, because a player's library is considered a hidden zone, if you were to use the Library of Lang's replacement effect to discard your land while you control a Bone Miser and Shirley Badgersaur, then it's going from your hand, which is a hidden zone, and straight to your library, which is another hidden zone. Two hidden zones, and therefore, the game is never able to know the characteristics of that card. It's never able to see that card at any point. This means that you can't just simply announce to the table, hey, I'm going to discard this land from my hand, but use my library of Ling to just put it onto my library. But since I'm telling you all and showing you all that it is a land, I still get my triggers from my Bone Miser and Shirley Badgersaur. Well, sadly, it just doesn't work like that. Similarly to this, cards that require you to discard a card from hand of a certain kind as a form of payment will also not work with the Library of Lang's replacement effect. Something like trade routes that requires you to discard a land card 
or Survival of the Fittest that requires you to discard a creature card. But how does this work for things that just say discard a card? A commander like Braylon Skyshark Rider only asks that you discard a card. It doesn't care about the card type or anything else of that sort, so you can discard to your library using the Library of Lang's replacement effect and still get his trigger. And now for your bonus question, let's say you did any of these discards discussed in this episode and you chose to use the Library of Lang's replacement effect, but this time you have out a card like Future Sight, which says that you play with the top card of your library revealed. Would this change the outcome? If you did discard a land to the top of your library and you controlled a future site, then would your Bone Miser add two black mana to your mana pool? Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that all of you have found this video to be entertaining, at least, and I hope that a few of you have even learned something about the crazy rules in this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta!